Hello all, I just want to give you a quick update on a little project that I'm working on right now. Um, it is a auto landscape material for Unreal Engine that will be available through my Gumroad subscription options. Uh, for both subscription options, or all three I guess, if you're the early subs uh, early uh, adopters and the, the lowest tier and the, the yearly, it doesn't matter, it's going to everybody who's a subscriber. Um, and there are a lot of lot auto landscape uh, materials out there that you can get for Unreal Engine, um, but this one I built specifically for people who use applications like Gaia and World Machine. So let me go ahead and just take a few minutes to break it down. I'm, I'm extremely tired, by the way. Um, I've been awake since maybe 10 o'clock a.m. yesterday, and it's 7.04 a.m. the next day. So I've been awake for quite a long time. I'm tired. So if I stutter a lot or if I lose track train of thought, that's the reason why. So I'm going to just go through this real quick with you and then hopefully it won't be too long of a video. So uh, this is the master material and I have things named in a way that hopefully would make sense for people who are just getting started in Unreal. That was the main idea. So this is the master, do not use unless you know what you're doing. Um, and this is the landscape mat, use this. So if you have your landscape, and you want to assign your landscape material, this is one you're using. So this master material uh, is one that I put together myself, but it does include a bunch of like your basic um, stuff that you would have for your landscapes. So for instance, you have like your basic setup for your noise variation. This is what a lot of people use is this setup right here. Um, and then you have like your layer blends here. Uh, but I'm still working on things. It's still being built. I have some issues that I need to work out. Um, but hopefully I have things uh, kind of lined up in a way that makes sense. So um, these are the textures for the material functions form. <clears throat> and then they all come down here and get multiplied and blended together with the variation right here. So um, <clears throat> just to start things off real quick, I did in fact keep in mind that people will generate color maps that they want to use from Gaia or World Machine so the first material actually is your color map um, this is a custom landscape color map from Gaia or World Creator etc set constant value to the size of your generated landscape example if you exported a 2017 by 2017 landscape use that number in the constant node the constant node that drives the scale of your custom map set to landscape scale. Obviously, it's uh, this example that I'm running right here is 2017 by 2017. So I have that set to 2017. And the way, the reason why I have it set up this way is it overrides the mapping scale here in the landscape coordinates node. You can't actually convert this to a parameter. So I created the parameter myself. I set this one to zero. And I'm using the, the divide node here because uh, I need uh, nice, stable numbers with no decimals. Um, so the divide node worked out perfectly here. I set it 2017 in the constant, put it into the divide node, put it into my texture node, and then drop that down into my color. But I have it blending in with some other things. So, uh, And it's the same thing over here with your maps or your masks. So. Um, these are the landscape masks, like erosion masks, slope masks, snow masks, etc. Uh, the constants need to match your train size. It's the exact same concept. Um, so uh, the only thing here that you have to keep in mind is that the last uh, mask here is, your go is going to be your top mask. Uh, so you're working from uh, the ground up doing this. Uh, so if you want your flow map to appear in any specific place, you have to apply it somewhere else in here. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better system for this, but I don't know of one yet. Uh, and then I did the same thing here, overrode the mapping scale here with a constant into a divide node, and that's what controls the masks here, because you need your masks to be applied at the size of your landscape, because that's what they were generated for. Um, and then they all just kind of go up into these uh, slope normal blends. I'm not going to get into too much of this, but the last one goes up into your uh, your attributes for your break material attributes and then into your uh, material. Uh, the reason why I'm using all of that is because I have material functions to drive everything. So just to keep the node editor clean from all this that was going on, um, I'm using <coughs> uh, material uh, functions. Uh, every material will have a um, a 
scaling where you're close to the camera or far away from the camera. So if the camera's close to the ground, uh, you'll get this value. If the camera's far away from the ground, you'll get this value. Uh, so your distant uh, geometry will have this grass. But the thing is, is every material in here has this. Uh, so it's going to scale with your camera, and this is what drives that, is this distance blend. And I have that set currently to 10,000 for the uh, distance blend range for the grass. Uh, so you can actually set all these parameters individually. I just I don't have it set up in the material all the way yet, but you'll be able to control all this stuff individually. Um, so you'll have a lot of good control over it. Uh, and then this blends between these two grasses, and then it goes into here so uh, and again I'm not gonna break all this down everything's about the same for these except I'm using two materials in here a dry grass and a live grass everything else is just a single texture but it's set up the exact same way so let's get into the really cool thing about this that I like uh, that maybe not a whole lot of other auto landscape materials are actually doing um, and that is designing a build for people who use Gaia or World Machine and want to use their masks inside of Unreal Engine and place materials where it should be placed. So um, we're going to use the um, the material instance for this to show it off. Let me reduce the size here because we don't need it that big. I do kind of want to show off this focal point which is the mountain peak and everything here will be available. You'll have the landscape, um, you'll have the materials. Um, and you can also use your own materials. You, all this does right here, uh, if you uncheck any of this, it actually doesn't deactivate anything. Um, it just allows you to use the custom slot for it. So if you want to have a color map here that you want to use, you just enable this and then load it, and then you'll use it. <clears throat> but if you don't want to, you have to remove it. Uh, maybe I'll find out a way to switch it so you can turn it on and off instead of having... Uh, to have to remove it for your custom landscape color um, but I'm not there yet so anyways it's loaded in uh, by default because that's what I'm using in my current material setup but uh, you can always replace it with whatever you want through here so let's go ahead and reduce everything so I have the deposit set to 5 I'm going to reduce the flow to 0 uh, the ma wear mask strength to 0 uh, everything to zero except for the snow. So the reason why I'm keeping the snow is because it's extremely apparent that there's snow. Uh, and I just wanted to show this off. Remember that the base uh, custom landscape color here, color map, uh, and again right here it even says from Gaia or World Creator, etc. Um, has snow on it, but the snow is more towards the top of the peak. And I did this on purpose because I wanted there to be snow, but I wanted there to be snow in other areas. So uh, when I built this in Gaia, I actually included a snow mask, which you can tell right here, there's a lot more snow here than there is here. And that's because I wanted there to be a flip switch, kind of, so I can see if it was working. So right now, you don't need this snow mask, at least this one anyways, to be more than the strength of one. You can go higher, but you're going to start getting a sharper edge here. So if I take it to zero, I now don't have my snow. It's gone. Um, but the material itself, uh, or the, the snow in the base color itself, is still there, as you can see. So it worked. Uh, that was my test bed. So this was the snow that was generated in Gaia at this elevation of my landscape. Um, but to test it, I generated snow at lower elevations. Um, and that's what this is, this mask right here. So if I set it to 1 now it's there and it's getting my snow material that I have inside the master material applied to it all right so the next one will be the flow mask and this and the reason why I have uh, strengths here for them for these individual masks is because uh, you, you don't want to have to go back into Gaia and regenerate a flow mask to increase the strength right and, and you don't want to really go into Photoshop or some other photo editing program to uh, import or to edit your mask <clears throat> so I just include the strengths here so right now it's set to zero if I set it to one that is base strength that is your basic file and you can see it's coming in right here so if I you can really see it right in this corner and up in here so if I reduce the flow mask strength to zero you can see it goes away but if I increase it to five 
now we're getting it kind of all over the place, uh, especially down in here. Uh, the flow mask is tends to go everywhere, but you can start seeing little pockets of it. Um, I don't want this video to go on too long, and my right mouse button's broken, so it doesn't like to function. Um, but we can increase this even further. We can go to 50, and you can see it's appearing pretty much everywhere. Uh, we'll keep it at 5, because I thought that was a good value. Actually, you know, let's go to 0 so we can see the deposit. So the deposit map is, uh, again, one of those really light masks that, unless you edit it, it inside of Gaia before you leave uh, you're gonna have to do some post process on it <clears throat> that's essentially what we're doing here so let's go ahead and increase that to five you can start seeing it's coming in towards uh, the deposit areas let's increase this to 50 now it's coming in pretty heavy and it is assigning that material that I have for that mask appropriately uh, unfortunately the this particular scene that I made uh, the deposit mask and the wear mask are about the same uh, but I did apply a different material to it so you can kind of stagger these a bit so you can make you can probably have this one pretty heavy um, and then have this one like kind of light so it appears darker towards the mountains over there I guess you can pump it up even more if you want bring in some extra detail I mean it's all it's all up to you it depends on what you want to do um, but we don't need 50 on, on that. We, we want there to be some kind of texture variation, but we don't want it to overcrowd the grass. Uh, and that is about it. Every parameter in here, so even the auto-generated grass and rock texture, you'll be able to control. So you'll have all of these controls for everything. Um, and you'll even have ways to uh, change the textures for uh, the, the albedo, uh, the normal, the specular and roughness all that stuff you'll be able to use your own custom textures in it it's just right now I'm just you're use this one's using the specific ones that I'm providing um, but they're not bad they're they're pretty good looking textures so uh, they they will do good I guess they'll do well for most things but you'll you'll have your own custom textures that you can use and then you'll also have all the the different uh, values that you can change to them. So like for instance, you have grass far, then you have grass far AO strength. So you can increase the AO strength, uh, the ambient occlusion strength, or you can decrease it for your far texture for everything. Like it's, it's going to be there. Um, so you have some pretty good creative control. Um, and then obviously I have your color map size here. So the first thing you do is set your color uh, map size, uh, match this to your landscape size. So 2017, by 2017 or just 2017 here and then masks uh, size again match that and then you set that you can set them separately for some reason if you need to but uh, you don't you most of the time you won't you'll have them the exact same so that is what I have so far uh, I have a few kinks I need to work out so for instance I have this really shiny material right here I don't know what's happening there's some kind of specular material that is causing this issue and I don't know which one so I gotta kind of troubleshoot that um, another bad thing is is that the mask system isn't perfect uh, I'm pretty sure that there's probably better ways to do it but this is the way that I found that works um, without having to use a splat map uh, a splat map might be a good or a better solution I guess but I don't know um, I don't like using them, and I found that this works extremely well. So, for the time being. So, if you guys have anything to add, let me know. Um, if you guys have, like, any, like, critiques, or if you guys want updates, uh, or if you want to test it uh, with your own projects and then give me your feedback, let me know. Um, I will be taking the first three or four people who request it um, through this video. Uh, or my discord to trial it you'll be able to keep it and all the updates afterwards too so you can be one of those people who are subscribed but you can get it or who aren't subscribed um, but you can still get it for free and keep it and you'll get the updates too um, I'll, I can make sure that you get the updates one way or another uh, but after you know three or four people depending on how I feel maybe four might be a good idea I don't know but after we get to that max limit of people uh, there will be no more beta testing and uh, after that uh, it'll be up for grabs as a 
purchasable item, and I don't know how much it'll be for, but hopefully it, it won't be too much. It'll probably be probably cheaper than your other auto landscape materials out there. So, uh, anyways, um, hit me up in the comments, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.